picked 11. Browns at Jets. I've been excited for this game since the beginning of season two. The battle of Moses Cody and Dustin Bartell. I've been excited for this for a while. I'm gonna, in this episode, I'm going to give a little preview to that game. The second pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, Cleveland Browns select Moses Cody, quarterback, Georgia. Moses Cody's got up four ratings since his draft in two and a half seasons, so that's not very much. Um, his development has not changed. Uh, if you look at his awards, he's only made the Pro Bowl once, which, I mean, it was fine. <laughs> I mean, that's like his only award ever when he was drafted. Uh, obviously, he was injured, and he made the Super Bowl. So, those are two reasons why he couldn't play. But he's never won Offensive Player of the Week. He's never won Best Quarterback of the Year, or anything like that. Dustin Bartels won a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, if you look at his career stats, his rating has gone up just a little bit each year. Uh, his, his touchdown to interceptions ratio has been better each year. The completion percentage has been a big issue since he was drafted. And that he's not mobile. Take all those rushing yards. He was 23 in his career. He's none this year. Not as bad as his rookie year. Um, yards per game, a little less than last year. But I think Moses Cody's really improving. Well, you can look at his season stats. Completion percentage, he's thrown over 50% four times. Now, all those times, he's thrown over 60. But four times, that's ridiculous. This game, he barely played with the 20%, but still, it's kind of ridiculous. So those games, he has eight touchdowns, four interceptions, which is about his same ratio generally. This one, he has four interceptions, eight, and nine touchdowns. So he has more touchdowns, not completing passes. Yards? He definitely has more yards with completions. So maybe David Johnson just gets touched out those games. Uh, we're going to have to give him a big payday next year, but someone else is going to want a bigger payday here to talk about it. in a minute. In a minute, meaning like right now. With the 10th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York Jets selected Dustin Bartell, quarterback, Georgia. Look at this dude. Moses Cody's gone up four ratings. Bartell has gone up 14. It's ridiculous. Look at those stats. He had a good rookie year where he won offensive rookie of the year. And then the season after, he won MVP. MVP as a second year quarterback. And he was up there as a rookie. And then this year, uh, his team hasn't done as well. He hasn't done as well either. Uh, his completion percentage has been better. Where's that? Um, but this guy is just ridiculous. His season stats. Has he had any. He, oh, that time he went 2 for 2. Composition percentage, he's never had under 60. 60 is a good game for Moses Cody. That is ridiculous. This was, oh wait, no, that was the worst game. Even though I feel like that was even worse because he threw less yards. Um, oh, he completed 77% of his passes. That makes sense. Um, but this guy is kind of, he's thrown a touchdown pass every game except for one that he barely played. He's one, he threw five touchdowns, zero picks. Let's take a look at awards, look, first contract and skills, he's going to get a big payday. That's what I was talking about, he's going to get a big payday. But let's look at all these awards. He's made the Pro Bowl twice. Uh, he won Offense Player of the Week once. He won the Offensive Rookie of the Year. MVP last year. Offensive Player of the Year last year. And Best Quarterback last year. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But let's compare Moses Cody's and Dustin Bartel's teams. By the way, Moses Cody is one thing that Dustin Bartell doesn't. A Super Bowl ring. Even though Moses Cody never played in that game because he was injured, he still has a ring. And Dustin Bartell, you don't because you stink. Ha! Let's take a look at the Brown stats, the Jets stats, and the league stats. And Moses Cody, 30 in the NFL passing yards. You already saw the stats unless you fast forwarded. Dave Johnson, he's having a really good year. He's over 60 yards of carry, which is ridiculously insane. Eight touchdowns as well. Corey Cole is having a bit of a down year. He normally has like 120 yards a game. Now he only was 84. But I bet him's having a good, pretty good year. He had a great game last game. Uh, Limbo Boyer, he's had some really good games, but obviously he's missed for past like four games. And Barry Davenport has also been good this year. Uh, blocking. Uh, Joe, or Ivan Doss. 
I don't know if that's still a lethal leg. Joe Thomas, most of those sacks are on the but Tyron Smith, I don't know how he's allowing eight sacks with his pass block right now in 98. Trey Brandon has, has allowed three, Collins one, and Tyron Rogers one, and our, some of our backups have none. Uh, defensively, DJ Tufsley's laying tackles with Tyron and Matthew behind. Tackles for a loss, 15 for Vulture, 11 for Alpha. 10 for Gabriel, around three sacks. Yep. Our pass rush is insane. Sides to Yumblin 13, and we're only halfway through the season. Marvin Fulcher and Emmanuel Alpha 9. Curry Lindsay 5, Aaron Donald 4. But how many downs does Aaron Donald play? 220, though. That's not a lot. I want to go. We have like two two defensive linemen into the game normally, which is Curry Lindsay and Emmanuel Alpha. Aaron Donald's barely in the game. Tyron Matthew has four picks. Three of them were against the Bengals. So only Marvin Fulcher gave you around to your DJ Cup. And you know, war of them all have one. Pumble forces, three for size teak. Pumble recoveries, two for Vahoney Badger. Safeties, we have a safety or two. Size teak Humble. That's a touchdown dice, like four. Tyron Matthew, Denzel Yancey, Curry Lindsay, and Gabriel Ratchery. What are Yancey's stats? So, of course, two fumbles recovered one. Three sacks, and 31 tackles. So, a decent year for Yancey. Uh, kicking a wild bit of beast. Looks like normal. Uh, he's missed eight field goals, though, which is pretty bad. Taylor Sands, so the best partner in the league. Love all boy, yeah, he's doing final kick return to punt returns. Alright, New York Jets. How is Bartell in the game doing? So, I showed you guys Bartell's stats, having a pretty good year. Alex Smith has had some time in the game as well. He's actually done really well. Uh, Spencer Ware is their running back, and he has been pitiful. Uh, just over three yards of carry. It's pretty trash. Receiving Kenny Cobb, who we were considering. William Boy, he still has slow development, but he's up more ratings than Moses Cody has. He's having a pretty good year. Eric Decker, and Delaney Walker, Tremonde Burris. Those are some of the main receivers. Their offensive line is phenomenal. Corey Robinson's allowed seven sacks, Clady two, Shell one. How? How do they do it? Is Jack Bates on their team? Huh. But how do they do it? Our offensive line has all 80 and above. But how come they're allowing all these sacks? Jake Ryan, well, I mean, they're going to probably get sacked like 10 times <laughs> next week, which is in and out of sacks of Bartel has been all year. Uh, as, anyway, Jake Ryan leads away in tackles. Tackles for a loss. 11 for Mo Wilk. Sacks, 5.5 for Sheldon Richardson. Picks, only 4. 1 for Jake Ryan, Calvin Pryor, Nick Virgil, and Aaron Colvin. Fumble forces, we have to go fast here. Uh, two for Virgil and Curtis Drummond. Recovery is two for Curtis Drummond. Uh, any defensive touchdowns, Curtis Drummond is the only one. So, uh, let's look at the league stats. Uh, who's leading the way and stuff and other stuff. Uh, last year, uh, before I had YouTube, I did a Vikings franchise. And it was so awesome because I just had to move one scroll to the NFL. But Blake Portals leads the league in yards. Aaron Rodgers, Moses Cody, Tomo, Tony Romo, AJ McCarron, Max Crediton, Seth Skelton, Andy Dalton. Touchdowns, Tony Romo. Still doing work. He's an 85 overall with confidence. Uh, interceptions, 13 for Famous Jameis, 12 for Crediton, 10 for McCarron, Bridgewater. And Maddie Stafford, that's quarterback in the NFL. Yards per game, Bartles, Rogers, Cody, etc. Completion percentage of guys who are starters Andy Dalton and Bartell, Zach McGraw, Jared Goff, he's having a good year. Uh, sacks, uh, Andy Dalton, Luck, Carey, Moses, Cody, and fourth. Um, and Dustin Bartell is way down here. Wait, Jake Coker is quarterback for the Cardinals? What? What? Jake Coker is the Cardinals quarterback. 13 times, okay. So, Ezekiel Elliott, much as I hate to say it, is destroying opponents. Then David Johnson. Then Antoine Bernard, Jamal Charles, and Michelle McCoy. Right off the top. Five touchdowns, 12 for Antoine Bernard. <laughs> Zeke, 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 Zeke. He has not fumbled it once either. Devon Charles has five times. Longest run of the season, 78 yards from Stephon Haywood. Ben Le'Veon, Ben Zeke, David Johnson's longest with 70. Receiving Bernard Britton, leads in catches, he's an 80 overall. 
Alan Hearns, Grog, Tavon Austin, Aaron Word. All up there yards is currently Aaron Word. Aaron Word's a beast. Yards per game is, of course, Linval, a.k.a. Flash. Boy, I made him straw poll. Guys should definitely vote. Favorite Browns player. I put all the starters in. I put Lineal instead of Linval. I put an E instead of a V by accident. Um, so, yeah. I haven't got any votes yet as of uh, Wednesday the 15th that morning. So, maybe it'll change. Sack 16 allowed by Reggie Trailer and Cameron Fleming. 15 Fisher, Casanzo, and Trey Cerenty. Defensively, Bobby Wagner leads in tackles. Trevathan, Jamie Collins. Sacks, 13 and a half for Von Miller. So I stick his 13, so he's in second. Then Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa's teammate, Corey Lujic, Justin Houston, and Olivier Vernon all 10 or more. Interception, 6 for David Anderson. It's ridiculous. Joe Hayden, Mario Sanders, Mary Randall, and the Honey Badger have 4. Four fumbles, 3 for John Simon, Sean Payton, Alec Ogletree, and Vernon Butler. Uh, fumble recoveries two: John Simon, Daryl Worley, and Max Bula. Fence touchdowns one for Christine Kirksey, David Emerson. A uh, bunch of other guys too. Oh, there's only like seven. Not like seven, but who's playing the most downs on defense? Clayton Gators of the Arizona Cardinals kicking. Um, what is that for most field goals made? Bertel Aguayo, good to see. Completion, er, completion, good. The field goal percentage is probably down there. The longest is probably number one. Justin Tucker kicked a 60 yarder. Extra points. Not as bad as Matt Prater, even though Matt Prater's a goat. Alright, field goals from 50 or more. Aguayo's is 6 for 9. Dang. Dang, Aguayo. Man, Aguayo is a beast. Punting Taylor Sands. Very high up there in yards. Her average yards for punts. It's not a word, so I have to go really fast here because we don't have all day. MVP currently going to Zeke. Uh, David Johnson at the beginning of the World Award races with the second now he's in fifth. Size Teak in ninth. Alright, now Coach of the Year. I believe it's probably Jason Garrett. Yep. Harbaugh in third. Jim Harbaugh. Offensive player of the year in the AFC, David Johnson, defensive ball. I don't know how size takes in fourth. Yeah, he's ninth in the MVP race. That's kind of stupid. Uh, Dane Spearman, offensive rookie of the year, Israel back then in fourth, Gabriel Buller. Our backup quarterback in sixth, defensive rookie of the year, Carly Mario Saunders, or Sanders. Denzel Yancey is in fifth. Uh, quarterback, quarterback, Justin Martell, Moses Cody in fifth. That's running back, Big D. That's wide receiver. Aaron Ward, Odell Beckham in third, Corey Coleman in sixth, DeBerry Davenport in seventh, from the boy in eighth, four Brown. Best offensive lineman, Tyron Smith, not been the case. Joe Thomas, second best, not been the case. Tyrell Rogers has been really good. So is Trey Brandon. So is Lyle Collins. Uh, best defensive lineman, Joey Bosa, and Browns, Emmanuel Alcott in eighth. Best linebacker, Size Takes in second. I, I hope Size Takes gets defensive player of the year. One of these awards so he can see start development. That will be lovely. Uh, because we won this one back in last game, that gave him quick. Uh, best defense back, Tyrant in second. So hopefully he can force some more fumbles and get some more picks. But he's tired, Matthew, so I'm not too concerned. I think he'll do it. Best kicker, Aguayo, is in fifth. So peace out, everybody. Next game, Browns, Jets. Battle of the Bulldogs. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Dustin Martell is Moses Cody's college backup. I don't know how I haven't mentioned it yet. But yeah, I'm about to play that game.